Today is Thursday the 16th of March and this is from the South. Thousands of bikers drove through the city of Caracas on Wednesday to commemorate the fourth anniversary of former Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez's burial. The bikers followed the same route of Chavez's funeral procession in 2013. Numerous deputies and cabinet ministers of President Nicolas Maduro took part in the demonstration. Labor unions hit the streets across Brazil protesting against planned pension reforms on Wednesday. The reforms will see the retirement age of men and women of 60 and 55 respectively moved to 65. A strike by Metro and bus workers in Sao Paulo earlier had paralyzed the morning rush hour. During a dramatic protest in the capital, Brasilia, hundreds of activists burst into the finance ministry before the start of the workday, occupying the building until late afternoon. In neighboring Argentina, thousands of protesters halted traffic in the capital in protest over newly proposed cuts. Under the social emergency law, the government was due to allocate billions of dollars worth of funds to social programs and welfare benefits. However, the Senate blocked the law three months ago. Protesters marched through Buenos Aires, blocking off 14 roads and three of the main routes that lead to the city. A shootout between two rival gangs killed five in a downtown market in El Salvador's capital, according to authorities. After the incident, the police secured the scene and managed to arrest five suspects between gang members and vigilantes. Gangs in the country have about 70,000 members, of whom just over 16,000 are imprisoned for multiple crimes. Heavy flooding continued to wreak havoc in western Peru as ongoing rains caused rivers to overflow. In Lima, police helicopters were deployed to rescue families from the floodwaters. Meanwhile, in Trujillo and Nuevo Chimbote, some 500 kilometers north of Lima, residents emerged from their homes to evaluate the damage. A heavily armed teenaged student opened fire at a high school in southeastern France, injuring 10 people, including the headmaster. The youth, who was also carrying two handguns and two grenades, was arrested at the school. The youth was not known to police and checks were being made to establish whether there were any accomplices and how he had acquired his weapons. Spanish taxi drivers shut down a central Madrid boulevard in protest against the Uber application due to unfair competition. Uber and similar services face protests worldwide for offering to match private vehicle owners with customers seeking a lift. Protesters took to the streets of Montreal to protest against police brutality. Police intervened after fireworks were shot at police and media at the scene. Officers also tried to block off various protest routes in an attempt to contain the demonstration. A Palestinian journalist held by Israel under administrative detention ended a 32-day hunger strike on Friday after an agreement with Israeli authorities for his release early next month. According to his wife and lawyer, the man is expected to be released on April 14. Mohammed al qiq began his hunger strike on February 6 to protest being held in administrative detention without a charge or trail. This is a long-standing policy that allows Israel to hold prisoners without a charge or trail indefinitely for renewed six-month term. Following a serious deterioration in his health, al qiq was moved to a medical center near Tel Aviv for follow-up. According to Palestinian reports, al qiq had lost 12 kilograms of weight since he began his hunger strike, became unable to stand on his own, and suffered from severe headache and dizziness. All the rulings that have been issued by the Israeli occupation state against the Palestinian prisoners in administrative detention are unjust. Administrative detention is a clear violation of the international human rights law and all the agreements adopted by the Fourth Geneva Convention and the United Nations. The journalist who worked for a Saudi media outlet was released from prison in May 2016 after he refused food for 94 days, also in protest of his administrative detention. However, he was arrested again in mid-January after he participated in a protest against the Israeli occupation forces in the occupied West Bank city of Bethlehem. According to Palestinian rights group al 6,500 Palestinians have been held in Israeli prisons as of January, 536 of them under administrative detention. Nohar Razin, Palestine.
Chinese dissident artist Ai Weiwei has launched his largest single work ever. It's called The Law of the Journey and is a 230 foot long inflatable boat with over 250 oversized refugee figures. At the unveiling, I slammed shameful politicians who ignore the suffering of migrants. The work can be seen at Prague's National Gallery through the rest of the year. More on these and other stories on our website, telesurutv.net slash English. <laughs>